Good morning. I am Dr. Clint Gabbard, president of McHenry County College. Welcome to all of our guests, families, and friends for the McHenry County College Spring 2021 Virtual Commencement Ceremony. And graduates, welcome to your 2021 MCC Commencement. Many people at MCC have contributed to your accomplishments. I want to join with you in thanking the entire MCC faculty administration and staff for their inspiration and service to you. And I would also like to thank our Board of Trustees for their unwavering support so that we could focus on our mission of student success. Most all of our families have family legends, those stories that are retold about another time and place, mostly or at least partially historically based. Our grandparents tell us about walking miles to a one-room schoolhouse, about difficult circumstances they were surrounded with in their early lives. Our parents tell us about life before the internet, what it meant to actually dial someone on a phone, or how they survived without 156 channels of cable TV. Today, this graduation is a capstone of your life thus far, and it will be the stuff of legends. You will tell your children and their children one day about getting a degree during a pandemic. You will talk about taking an online class while sitting in a cleaned out closet because there was no place else in the house to find a bit of quiet. You will talk about temperature screening stations on campus, of masks and distancing, and most of all, you will talk about finishing your degree in the midst of this chaos. Sometimes kids or grandkids find our family legends far-fetched and are a little incredulous, but my hope is that they will listen carefully to you because you will tell them that it was here at MCC in spite of the circumstances that you learned just how resilient and how mentally tough you were. You juggled so much, but kept going to get to this momentous point. Graduates, you have astonished us this year with your determination. On top of all the regular pressures of finances and multiple jobs and family challenges, a pandemic that hovered over all of you like an ugly thick fog, yet you kept going, found your own inner lights to sustain you through those dark patches or borrowed some light from others. You did it both through your sheer will and through the care of others. Please know that both of those resources, your inner strength and the support that you found from others, are powerful forces that are portable. You can take them with you wherever you go, whatever comes next. You are a college graduate. You did it despite everything swirling around you, and now you can take on what comes next. And we need you out there, taking your minds and your hands and using them to serve our communities, solve big problems, create beautiful things, fix stuff, care for our most vulnerable citizens, lift up someone, and imagine and then participate in creating a more just society. Please take time to remember those people who were so gracious with their support and time and encouragement, those who walked beside you on this MCC journey. Part of you believing in yourself came from those who believed in you throughout your time here. While this achievement is still fresh, write a note to a parent, an aunt, or a pastor, a friend, or a lover, and remind them of what their belief in you meant during this time. Tell a favorite professor that you really were listening and that you took away both the content of the class and their passion for learning and knowledge. And most of all, today I guess, enjoy that your achievement here in these times is the stuff of legends. You did it, and no one can ever take that away from you. On behalf of everyone at MCC, congratulations to you today. Our most heartfelt wishes go with you as you take your next successful steps. Thank you. Hey everybody and greetings from Washington, D.C. I wish I could be with you today so that we could properly celebrate your momentous achievement in gaining your degree from wonderful MCC. You know what? This is a really big deal this year. 
and a lot of people probably haven't thought about this yet, but I certainly have. Think of what you've gone through. Think of what you've had to do to gain a degree during a global pandemic. Folks, that is a major achievement. You are to be applauded for that. I applaud you. If I were with you today a graduation, if we were all able to get together, I'd be high-fiving, hand-slapping every one of you. So before the day's done, I want you to get out and properly celebrate the moment. And something tells me a lot of you are going to get right out there and do just that. I've always been a big fan of graduations at MCC. I love the, the high fives, the, the slaps on the back, the, the hugs, the family celebrations. And I have a very special place in my heart for people who are the first in their families to earn a college degree. I know how extraordinary that is and what an amazing achievement that is. And I know how proud your families are of you. So again, big tip of the hat uh, to all graduates at MCC. MCC graduations are also kind of nostalgic for me. Uh, and there's a good reason for that. A reason that I don't think uh, President Gabbard or the Brian DeBona and the guys at the MCC Foundation even knew about when they asked me to speak today because they probably didn't realize that the last time, in fact, the only time I ever spoke at an MCC graduation was exactly 40 years ago. There he is. I haven't changed a bit. Uh, 40 years ago, I had the privilege of representing my fellow students, fellow graduates at MCC in a classy event down in the MCC cafeteria on folding chairs. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a really great time. Uh, you know, I don't remember a lot of what I said that day, mostly because I was, I was scared out of my mind and nervous to be up talking like that. Uh, I do remember uh, two things. One, my mother was kind of upset that I didn't get a haircut. Uh, that's the best you could do on a day like today? Yeah, that was the best I could do on a, on a day like that. Uh, but secondly, I remember the way I feel, or I felt that day, because I'm betting that a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. I felt a mixture of relief, uh, hey, made it, uh, a sense of pride, in my case, it was pride knowing that I'd worked my way through two years of school while holding a job down to pay for it. And I know a lot of you know exactly what that means. There's that little bit of sadness that comes with, you know, kind of believing that you may not be seeing some of your friends as much as they used to as you scatter onto the winds and your journeys continue. But also out there in the distance lurking is just that little cloud. And I know you know what I'm talking about here, that cloud that says, what happens next and does it get harder from here? Well, let me answer that second question for you immediately. No, and I promise you this, it does not get harder from here. The fact that you are a degree holder from MCC means that you know what it takes, you've learned what it takes to thrive and succeed as you go forward, maybe to a four-year school, maybe to a profession or a career, maybe you're going to start your own business. Nobody is going to question your ability or doubt your commitment to starting and finishing things and getting it done properly. Nobody, because you've already proven that you can do it. And speaking of proof, let me offer you some proof here. The guys, the people that I was friends with back at MCC back in the day, to the person, and I'm really delighted to be able to say this to the person, almost all those people are still in my close circle of friends. That really says something about the community that MCC builds and the friendships and the lasting, enduring quality of those friendships. I'm also happy to tell you that to the person, every one of us has gone on to have happy and successful lives. Happy and successful by virtually any measure. Okay, let's look at careers. We've all had great careers and still do in wonderful families. A lot of the people that I came up through at FCC with are now grandparents, which completely freaks me out. But you know what? That's in all of our futures. Hopefully, maybe eventually, right? So let me put this all in a nice little bow. We've all had great lives. And know this, every one of us will tell you straight up, that MCC is where it all started for us. MCC is what helped us find the confidence in ourselves 
and in our own abilities to keep going. So you know what we did? We kept going, just like you're going to. Me and my friends that I came through MCC with, I could tell you we're all extraordinarily grateful for the time that we spent at MCC and the people that we spent it with. Since I left MCC, I mean, look, I was a person that worked my way through MCC working in water treatment as a plumber, right? I then went on to gain a bachelor's degree at NIU, Northern Illinois University, which I then parlayed into a career that is quite literally taken me to virtually every continent in the world. I mean, I got paid to ride motorcycles, Harleys and just about every country that you can name and had a blast doing it. Got to meet U.S. presidents, uh, royalty, celebrities, you know, movie stars, rock stars, country music stars all over the world and then continued that where now to this day, I'm friends and, and, and get to hang out and work with people at companies like Google and Netflix, Pixar, Uber, Coke, Nike, Budweiser, you know, General Motors, it's crazy. Where did it all start? At MCC, my friends who graduated with me, they're accomplished executives in finance and technology and banking, they're CPAs, uh, teachers, administrators, artists, business owners, construction company owners, you name it, it's extraordinary. And what will all of them tell you? For all of us, it all started at MCC. So. I hope you'll think of what's happening today this way. That diploma that you're getting doesn't signify the end of anything. It's actually the golden ticket that's going to keep opening doors for you on your next adventure. So here's the deal. Whatever path you're on, and it's easy for me to say, but I have to say it, just keep going. You're probably not sure where it's going to take you, but that's okay. It just means you're in the same boat as everyone else. But MCC helped you find this path and gave you the tools you need to thrive and the confidence in your abilities to succeed. So, geez, go succeed. You've already proven yourself worthy and able. And wherever you go and however you get there, please remember that your relationship with MCC doesn't have to end today, nor should it. And I know what I'm talking about here. I was you 40 years ago and MCC is still here. It's not going anywhere. It's always going to be here to support you. There's always going to be somebody at MCC to talk to. Believe it, your teachers and others on staff there, they've always had your back because nobody wants you to succeed more than they do. That will not change. Nobody's more willing to help. So if you don't mind, please. Let me suggest that you return the favor to MCC by staying in touch. It's easy to do. You don't really have to do much. Just stay engaged as an alumni, as an alum, and you'll always be plugged into this awesome community that's literally more than a half a century in the making. It's people just like you and me. Community, people who like to help each other and see each other succeed. I'd also like to very strongly suggest that if you're ever in a position where you can help someone else, lift someone else up and help them to have the same kind of experience at MCC that you've had. Be the kind of alum that you'd want to be friends with because that's what this community is all about. That is what community is all about. And speaking of community, I have to say this. I read in the Washington Post about a month and a half or so ago, a story that, that one of the many really tragic consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic is the fact that at a time when people desperately need community college education, enrollment across the board, community colleges in the United States of America has gone down. You know what's happened to enrollment at MCC, Crystal Lake and Woodstock, Illinois? It's gone up during a pandemic. What does that say about you huh? and your commitment? What does that say about teachers and administrators at MCC, what they've built there, what it represents to the business community, what it re represents uh, to the formal four-year school community? What is that going to tell future employers 
about your commitment. What does it say about McHenry County in general? What an awesome place. What a supportive place to be. I'll get off my soapbox. Again, I just want to congratulate you on your momentous achievement and this epic milestone in your life. I encourage you to keep going, but to stay in touch. Look back fondly, and I know you will, on the time you've spent at MCC. Help others find their way if you can someday. I really hope that you will. And may your journey, wherever it takes you, wherever you find yourself, far surpass even your wildest, wildest expectations. And may you and your families continue to stay safe and healthy and happy. All the best to you. And hey, if you're ever out in Washington, D.C., after you're done seeing the monuments, look me up. We'll get together. We'll raise a glass to our combined degrees from MCC and the great lives that we're having. Thank you so much, everyone. And again, best of everything. Hello, MCC graduates. Congratulations on the significant accomplishment. My name is Dr. Talia Kronkowitz, Vice President of Student Affairs at MCC. As the COVID-19 pandemic lingers on, life on campus still looks slightly different, yet you haven't let that stop you. Even in the face of uncertainty and constant change, you have continued to persevere, overcome obstacles, and focus on your goals. Just look at what you have achieved while you have been a student at MCC. We know that this has been hard work and that you have experienced your own unique journey bringing you to this momentous day. So, find joy and pride in knowing how far you have come and the wonderful things that lie ahead. We are very proud of you all and are excited to see what you will do next. Hello, my name is Ida Sanchez and I am your new student trustee. And on behalf of the student body, I want to congratulate you. Now it's time to celebrate all your hard work. I know it's been a rough year and many of you were looking to an in-person graduation ceremony. Despite all, you have overcome many obstacles and you are one step closer to your dream. Here's a quote that I love from Ed Helms. Don't be afraid of fear because it sharpens you, it challenges you, and it makes you stronger. And when you run away from fear, you run away from the opportunity to be your best possible self. Congrats again and I wish you the best in all your future plans. And remember, the sky's the limit. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congrats to the graduating class of 2021. We did it. This year was really, really tough. But good luck on your future pursuits. And go Scots. Congratulations, MCC class of 2021. We did it. We survived college through a pandemic. Best of luck on your next adventures. Good morning. I am Dr. Chris Gray, Vice President of Academic Affairs and Workforce Development at MCC. I would like to reference some specific student achievements. These awards, honors, and designations are noted on each graduate slide with more details in our online program. Students with honors have achieved a grade point average of 3.50 to 3.74. Students with high honors have achieved a grade point average of 3.75 or higher. Phi Theta Kappa members are two-year degree recipients who have maintained a 3.5 or higher grade point average and have been active in members of MCC's Chi Upsilon chapter. The Alpha Delta Nu Nurses Honor Society recognizes the academic excellence of students in the study of nursing. The National Technical Honor Society has been honoring career and technical education students for over 30 years. We recognize those students who have served in the military and thank them for their service to our country and our community. Finally, the Silver Cord Award is given to students who complete at least 100 hours of community service or volunteerism while attending MCC. Dr. Gabbard and MCC Board of Trustees, on behalf of the McHenry County College faculty, staff, and administration, I present to you the Spring Class of 2021. On behalf of McHenry County College and by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois through the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon the members of the graduating class of 2021 
the individual degrees and certificates for which they have been recommended and duly certified. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates. Sydney Adkins. Yusra Ali. Lindsay Allen. Emma Ambrosia. Mila Bahuto. Teresa Bayeta. Adriana Betancourt Diaz. Aurora Bismarckel. Inga Glistravas. Kenna Brennan. Michaela Brooks. Brandon Brooks. Michelle Burkat. Aralia Campo. Selena Carbajal Bernal. Yasmin Carbajal Cruz. Amia Karakutan. Danae Chapman. George Chase. Martin Chicos, Adrian Coetzee, Ryan Dalton, Casey Danielson, Amanda Rose Davis. Caitlin Davis. Jerry De La Luz. Kelly Demon. Maggie Lugokevin. Hallie Doherty. Emily Duggar. Evelyn Estrada. Leslie Garcia. Cruz Garcia. Kevin Garcia. Gabriella German. Amy Gray. Jay Haddad. Katera Hagerman. Kara Hall. Amanda Hauk. Alyssa Heidenreich. Lauren Heidenreich. Vanessa Harahon. Joan Huck. Sidra Huck. Amanda Jarecki. Genesis Jessen. Joanna Johnson. 
Michelle Jones, Amy Kieser, Shiana Knoll, Claudia Koziak, Carlin Krotzak, Anna Lamada, Joyce Landy, Sean Lee, Sarah Leon, Ronald Levin. Ashley Lewis, Ali Lopez, Emma Likens, Norma Maceda, Alanya Magana. Alana Malkin, Lisa Marks Geis, Jacob Martin, Vivian Martinez, Mia McDonald. Paige McLaughlin, Emma Migliorato, Connor Montgomery, Colin Morin, Riley Moravic. Morgan Morosi, Sarah Nagel, Aaron Niesel, Jasmine Para, Janaki Patel. Eduardo Perez Santos, Carolyn Putek, Kendall Pira, Jacqueline Ramirez, Logan Rasmus. Rebecca Rallaz, Kelsey Reuter, Alondra Reyes, Anna Richards, Caitlin Rin. Kyle Romero, Virginia Rourke, Juan Salazar, Amy Salcedo Venegas, Justin Sampson. Alexandra Spondoris, Shaheen Shaikh, Brandon Shepard, Darcy Smith, Abigail Smolinski.
Mika Sordel. Christopher Stabla. David Shepanik. Cody Tuber. Jackson Thoreau. Taylor Timmerman. Jordan Tobolt. Alicia Tote. Ty Tolentino Salas. Gianna Tomzak. Kylie Michaela Unda. Diana Roman. Aaron Wagner. Brandon Wagner. Amanda Walker. Joseph Winkowski. Madison Whitbeck. Rod Yeager. Cade Zima. At this time, it is my pleasure to announce and recognize the Illinois Community College Trustees Association 2021 Outstanding Full-Time Faculty Member of the Year Award. Our winner, Ms. Robin Deek. On behalf of all of us, congratulations. Good morning and congratulations, graduates. I'm Robin Deek, a psychology faculty member here at MCC. Today, as we mark the culmination of your time here at McHenry County College, you need to soak it all in. Not only have you risen to the challenges of the college experience, but through the challenges of soaring political divide, escalating violent tension, and an ongoing global pandemic. You were sprung into remote learning. Bedrooms became classrooms. Isolation, anxiety, all too common. And technology, our main pathway to stay connected to each other. And still you rose to the unique and difficult demands. The perseverance, grit, and motivation needed to finish what you started has not gone unnoticed by your family, friends, and this MCC community. If this year has taught us anything, it's that the world is uncertain and adaptability and change are necessary to survive. The psychologist Robert Sternberg speaks of successfully intelligent people. He states that they don't just have abilities, they reflect on when and how to use these abilities effectively. Sternberg defines success as the ability to set and accomplish personally meaningful goals in one's life given one's cultural context. You can do this by capitalizing on your strengths, nourishing your weaknesses, being open to change, seeking out mentors, creating opportunities, and shaping your future. A favorite motto of mine is there are two things we can control in life, our attitude and our effort. Tomorrow, you begin your next step, reflect. Use the abilities you've learned here at MCC and take your best effort and your most positive attitude forward. You will continue to face challenges in an uncertain world. Remember how far you've come and that you can and will contribute to the future of your community. We are counting on all of you to help make the world a better place. In the words of Margaret Mead, Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. The faculty, the MCC community, along with your family and friends, celebrate your success today. Congratulations again. Graduates of the class of 2021, switch your tassels.